What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. I'm Debunk, and this is my single-player Let's Play World here on the Bedrock Edition. As you can see behind me here, in the last episode, we built this um, raid farm, and uh, it is everything I wanted it to be, except one thing. Um, I'm a little bit annoyed that I didn't think about this, but the amount of gunpowder you get from the witches from this is actually pretty minimal. Um... But that's okay. I'm getting enough of it that um, I'll be able to have enough rockets when I go to the end, kill the dragon, and go get some elytra. Um, one thing I want to do, I'm going to put this picture up on screen really quickly here. I mentioned in the last episode uh, that I wanted to come up with some kind of a build to go around this thing. Something that would look, um, look cool. And what I found, as you guys can see on this picture here, um, I found this picture of this building. Um, and I love the way this looks. I don't know that I'm going to use... So if I made it this color, it would need to be um, like brick and granite. And I'm not sure I really want to do that. So I might make it... I'm not sure yet. It's either going to be red, granite and brick, or it's going to be uh, stone, um, like like a dilapidate, dilapidated stone building, and then I'll just have it like completely draped over and covered in leaves, uh, so that it's not spawnable. And I think it would look really cool being out here, kind of almost in the middle of nowhere, having this rundown, dilapidated uh, skyscraper-looking building. Um, yeah, I think that'll look pretty cool. So there's a little sneak peek into uh, the future. Um, obviously, I'm not doing that this episode. I'm not going to do it next episode either, because next episode, I plan on fighting the dragon. So, um, yeah, that's a sneak peek into next episode. In today's episode, let me go back to my main base, and then I will tell you guys what I plan to accomplish today. So I'll be back with you once I get back over at the main base. All right, guys, so I'm back over here at my main base, and I've made myself a scaffolding pillar here, and I'm up above this area. I have cleared out some more trees in this area here. And... Uh, I think I showed this picture before, but let me go ahead and show you a picture of what I'm using as my inspiration for this little area that I'm building in here. So what I want to work on today is I want to build, um, using kind of this as my inspiration, a, I want to build these paths that are going to go in front of these buildings uh, so that I have a decent pathway to get amongst them. And then... Um, there's two things I want to do. Like, there's this river over here. I'm going to want to connect this river up somehow. And I'm thinking I might make it come, like, down here and then over and into here. And then right here will be, like, the little entranceway into my little thing. So the pathway will kind of go along here, up over this way, and then back in front of these, and then back over here. Uh, I'm thinking that at some point I'm going to have some kind of a building where those trees are. Um... Uh, there is, so I've got this kind of starter base up here and the stairwell down. The tunnel that leads down to my the um, spawner XP farm is like right, kind of right there. There's a tunnel that goes down this way a little bit and then down into the world. And so I want to connect the path up. You can kind of see the path here going over. So I want to connect that path. It's going to come out right here, connect up to this trail. It's going to make basically a circle along here, but it's going to be open here with the idea being that a boat could come in and uh, sail around. Eventually, once I put this um, pathway kind of around this little circular thing, eventually I want to have little buildings on, like, attached to the path all the way around. And then, obviously, I want these trees to be built up behind the buildings. Like, so I'm going to have one there and probably one there. One, you know, I'm going to plant some more in there. But I'm also want to have some in the middle, I think, as well. Um, so that it looks like this is like this little, yeah, kind of like you see in the picture there. But I want it to be like this little village made in the middle of the swamp. Um, and then have this river coming in. I actually was thinking about maybe putting a boat in this little area here. I'm just totally rambling, guys, about some of my plans for this world. Um, 
But yeah, I think this is going to look good. So today's episode, we're going to be building this path. And I'm going to also build, I think, a sugarcane farm kind of right in that area right there. Um, so this path that I'm going to build, um, now that you kind of have an idea of where it's going to go, my inspiration from this path, and I'm going to steal a clip from his video, uh, in Season 7 of Hermitcraft, uh, Scar built these bridges between custom trees he built in his little starter area. <laughs> little. Pfft. Scar doesn't do little. Um, anyway, Scar built this in Series 7 of Hermitcraft, and I'm going to use that as kind of my inspiration um, for these pathways. And so because I'm kind of, I don't want to say I'm copying his build, but I'm very much using his build as my starting point. Uh, so I feel like it's important to recognize that. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to go gather some materials so I can start working on this. And once I have those materials, I will be back. Ooh, I like that. I just... So yeah, let me go grab some materials, start building this pathway. Uh, so once I have all the materials gathered up, and uh, probably a little section in, maybe I'll probably start here and, and put in front of these places first. Let me work on that, and I will be back with you shortly. All right, guys, so I'm back for a little bit of an update. Uh, I've done a first pass here on the... Um, pathways and so what I've done is I've put in a little bit of a pillar and just the plank path that starts kind of over here in the corner like I said it was going to this is kind of that boat area and as you can see I've put in some lanterns just kind of spaced them out somewhat even around here and for right now this is all spruce planks and over to here went back here connected this up to the tunnel which is connected up to that other path Oops, fell off and then it goes over to here and just kind of meanders around a little bit so just kind of wanted to show you guys my process how I'm doing this so first pass is in I like the shape I like everything so now I'm gonna come back through and bust out you know rant kind of randomly and then I'll go back and I'll fill those holes with um, trap doors spruce trap doors and then I'll make another pass and so I need to do it where do I have any on me I yeah I do cool so I'll do some trap doors that are like here and then I'm gonna want some that are gonna be on top like that and then I probably will do some where I'll put them can I even get underneath of that where the trap I guess I can't do it lower. I might do some where there's going to be... Here. Like that, where there'll be the... Um, what do you call it? The half slap. Dang it. I keep breaking all this grass. So there we go. So I'm going to go make my next pass around. We'll do this. We'll have some of them. We'll, and I guess some of them we'll have even will be like this. And then I'll have that, I'm going to do that all the way around. And then after I'm done that, then I'll come back one more time, well, last time, and I'll add in some um, oak trap doors just for some texture variation. A uh, couple things I haven't figured out yet is I haven't figured out how I want to connect up to these. Like if I were to, you know what, yeah, I'm going to keep falling through there, so let's fix that for now. Um, like, I don't know, do I want to like, like... I don't know, like, I haven't decided how I want these to look yet. Like, does that mean I have to do... Maybe that's what I'm going to have to do, is something like that to get up. And I'll have to figure out how to texture that so it's going to match with this. So let me work on this, guys, and then I'll be back with one final update on this look, and then we'll start working on the sugarcane farm. Alright guys, one final update for you. I now have the path fully textured, which you can see from up here. I'll go down and show you from down there in a minute here. And I have the sugarcane farm built. It's functional. It's working. Um, I just haven't put a roof on it yet and haven't finished, you know, kind of 
prettying it up. Um, so I'll do that off camera. What I really want to do is get this video out for you so you guys have a video this week. And then I'll finish this up off camera. And then next episode, uh, we're going to fight the dragon. So uh, let's check this out here. So I'll just start over here. Like I mentioned in the last little clip, uh, I just went through and added some texturing here. I put the stairs in. Um, I like this. I like the way it turned out a lot. It's a uh, good texture. I need to texture variate this, I guess, now. Um, but good texture variation. I like it. It uh, ties in. Like I think this one ties in perfectly. This one, you know, the steps leave a little to be desired. I'll have to do something with that. Um, but I'll do that off camera. So let me show you the sugarcane farm over here. Uh, let me. I, I did get blown up by a creeper working on this. I was back here. And uh, I guess I let it get too dark and a creeper came over and got me. He didn't kill me, but he blew up and I had to repair this area right here. I had to repair. Um, anyway, so what we have here is just sugarcane, classic sugarcane pistons. Uh, I've got the observer on every third, or every, yeah, every third block there. Just kind of as a way to conserve, you know, space, uh, conserve observers. Um, you know, and I have it set up here. There's one line of redstone in the center. So any one of these observers uh, sees you know, sugarcane, the entire line's gonna fire. And I haven't double checked, like if this one here sees, uh, let's see. Yeah, it fires, no, it doesn't fire all the way to the end. So it doesn't fire all the way, all the way to the end. Um, so there's a little bit of a, you see that one didn't fire down here. So, you know, it, most of them fire anytime it uh, they see something. Um, the bulk of them fire, and uh, let's see, they go down into my chest. So I just have a chest down here, and there's a um, a, my, a hopper minecart that just goes around the entire thing. Um, why isn't it here? There it goes. And there's one, two, there's four hoppers, so it just slowly unloads its load as it goes around and everything will make it into that chest. Um, what I did here, this is kind of funny and I'm not sure how to clean this up yet. Um, I'm gonna figure something out, but I'm, I'm starting to get limited on space because I'm gonna have to have a, you know, an entrance here. But where's my... If you kind of see kind of the way I built this here. There's the two hoppers that goes into, there's a chest on top there. And then, uh, good. and then both of those chests feed into this main chest. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the way I have it going on. What have I done? Uh, which means I have to access this hopper to get to the stuff, which, um, Admittedly is not the way I'd like it, but I might just put like a trap door here and then that way I can access it. I'll make it all pretty. We'll do that off camera. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get to fighting the dragon next episode. Um, I have, um, I think like two and a half stacks of rockets, which will be plenty for going to the end cities. Um, so I'm going to gear up and uh, once I'm ready, I'll come back and uh, we'll record the next episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, leave me a like on the video down below. Subscribe if you're not already. Uh, questions, comments uh, down in the comments below. Appreciate Look forward to hearing from you. And until next time, bye for now.